Oh, this is Matthews. It's about 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, I just love getting up early. I usually try not to get up till 6. But this is about a release of information from our last movie. Some of it we did not put into the, the Kim Mitsubishi Expedition 2. And there's a lot of great info in there. <laughs> we had held back on pictures that had something in it. And uh, I didn't put it in the movie on purpose. We're probably putting it into the next movie. And I did finally do a release on YouTube to see what people thought. Most people never saw it. I did release it on Facebook in a community, and it blew the channel off the charts. Hundreds and hundreds of comments, views, and likes about the information we put up there. And then I did a further video explaining about how videos and, and photography works and what causes strange photos. And 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 uh, it just blew the channel off the chart. And then I had several people contact me saying, okay, this is what's going on. Uh, there were photos taken with a scope and a cell phone and originally i held them back because i thought th there was a dark object on them and i thought that it was just simply the cell phone had got out of alignment so i didn't i don't put junk up i'm trying to put real stuff up uh, after we put the movie up came meet you beast expedition 2 which had some really jaw-breaking information in it we I've got some really big monitors in here, and we put the phone, the photos and video up on a monitor and uh, enlarged it, magnified it, and yes, there was absolutely something was there and something was watching me. Now, I have not said what it was. Some people believe it was Bigfoot. Okay, I accept that. Some people believe it was a bear. Okay, I accept that. Some people believe possibly it was an individual watching me, and that is very possible uh, because I was out there and somebody saw me filming it was in, in the woods for some reason, and, and there were a few people out there because it was during hunting time, but there's not a lot of people out there. Most time, there's nobody out there, and it was possible somebody was watching me. Well, when we blew up the film, uh, it appears to be shaggy hair in the photo. So that most likely eliminates the fact that some individual was out there watching me. It's either animal or possibly what people refer to as Bigfoot, the Kimichi beast out there. Now, I, I put it up on YouTube. It got almost no attention because it's hard to find stuff on YouTube. I put it up on a Facebook site, and like I said, it blew the charts off the wall with people commenting, liking, writing me. And several people got a hold of me. I got invited to another research group because of the release of the photos. And, and uh, I've had other people disclose some things to me that we had not caught who were viewing some of this stuff. What it was, I don't know. We're probably going to release it in the next movie, Trail to Kimichi Beast. And we're going to go back. We're going to try to get more. We're doing some modifications. One reason it got past us is the laptop we were using didn't have enough resolution to enlarge it and, and, and show me what it was. Uh, we have now made changes and we're using a ProArt Studio book with 4K, 4K screen, everything. And uh, we're putting the money into this, people. We're putting the money into this to do the best filming we can. So we're going back. We are prepping the truck. We're watching a... Uh, Temp the temperature and weather for the actual leave date. It, it, we are going to be on schedule. I know we're going to be on schedule. It's going to be more at least more than a week before we leave, but we're going to be on schedule of having everything done on the truck. Had to put extra lighting, fill flood lighting and everything onto the truck if we need it, and a bunch of other stuff going on. I'm going to show you what we're doing to the truck. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you that, that some of the videos and stuff we'd put up, is blowing it off the charts. People love Kimichi Beast Expedition and Kimichi Beast Expedition 2. We've had hundreds of people contact us. I can't respond to everybody. Uh, if you leave me a note and I don't respond, it doesn't mean I didn't read it. I probably did. 
but I've actually got people sending me other photos and people who took some of my information and magnified it and found something we didn't see. All right, this is Master Hughes. Just letting you know what's going on. We're going to go back. We're going to do our best to find the truth. The things we are finding are real. It's very obvious they're real. This is Master Hughes. Bye-bye.